Results from Iraq's general elections have sent shockwaves through the country. In the lead is uh, Sairun coalition led by Shia cleric Muqtada al-Sadr and his communist allies. They have won 54 seats in the 329-seat parliament. Following up closely was Hadi al-Amri's uh, Amiri's uh, Fatah coalition, which is known to be pro-Iran. In third place is the incumbent Prime Minister Heather al-Abadi, who conceded defeat. We are ready to work and cooperate on forming the strongest government for Iraq, free of corruption, hateful sectarianism and a government which is capable of preventing a return of terrorism and keeping the country away from sliding into marginal conflicts. So what exactly happens now? Al-Sadr wasn't a candidate in the election and therefore cannot be prime minister. But you can expect him to play kingmaker. He has indicated his willingness to work with the Sunnis and the Kurds. There's even an outside chance that Abadi could return as Prime Minister for his pro-Iran stance could be a problem. Al-Sadr is a nationalist who has spoken out against the U.S. and Iran's presence in his country. He believes that Iraq should be run by Iraqis and that there is no place for armed proxies of outside powers. In recent times, Al-Sadr has reached out to the estranged Sunni community and even met with Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Salman, who has promised to help rebuild Iraq. He's also indicated that he's okay with U.S. troops training the Iraqi army and helping secure the country. But Iran isn't impressed, saying it will allow no liberals and communists to govern Iraq. The next 90 days are crucial as al-Sadr will have to maneuver to form a coalition during which time compromises and deals will have to be struck. Most important, Sadr will have to outmaneuver Iran, which is determined to push the case of its proxy, the Fatah coalition. Iran hopes to use its clout to install its proxy in Baghdad and see the departure of 5,000 U.S. troops in Iraq. Al-Sadr will have to move smartly and fast if he is to avoid a political deadlock. Hey.